Good day, YouTubers and the Groovers, and welcome to us here at Take the Field with me, Jason Bangers. And me, Mr. Charmley Warner. And we're going back down the arcade road again. We hope you're enjoying the background music, guys. We have for you here a nice Pandora's box. Home. Oh. About 1,500 games in one box. You got all your arcade controls for both players. You got his, both his starts, and it's based on the uh, Pandora's Box Nine. Think about Christmas, guys. Get the party going. Everybody's around having a bit of fun. You don't want to play silly card games. Plug us into your Eliza, and you're off and running. Fifteen hundred games. Awesome. 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 Should we have a look at some games then? Let's do it, man. This here is Metal Slug, guys. And as you can hear from the office, manic. But let's uh, let's go to our little camera here and show you what it looks like. Good grief! So here's Metal Slug. Anyway, let's give you a quick. Uh, it's a rapid. I can't even remember how to play the thing. To be honest with you, um, which buttons do what? There we go. Look, have some, have some. <laughs> You got a free the man. These guys here. Anyway, I better stop there because honestly, it's just so addictive. Do you know I haven't got? To, I've bought this ages ago, and I played it to death, and we put it in the box, and that's where it's been now for over a year. It's, it's got to come out, hasn't it? It's I miss so it, man. Good. Yeah, I miss it. And because you've got two players on this thing as well, yeah, two players. Or what you could do, you can keep it as it is, or you could even make a little box with just a monitor in it, something that you could just sort of like break up and carry around with you. You could have just one little thing there with a monitor about that big right in front of it and you've just got everything you need, ain't you? Yeah, it's all in there. It's pucker, mate. It's pucker. Let's, uh, let's have a look at some more games, shall we? Yeah, so um, like like the title says, it's, uh, well, it's 1,500 games on here. Are you, gonna... now, you can select, you can go through individually, can't you? Or you can go through 10 games at a time, can't you? Yeah, I think we've got here because it saves... Uh... We got the top there. Recent ones are some of the most popular ones we've played. And you get everything from, uh, you see Scramble there, that's a classic. Phoenix. Major Havoc's quite unusual because it's one of those old Vector games by Atari. Oh, that's right, yeah, there's all sorts on here. It's very hard, Major Havoc, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it's crazy, it's a crazy game. So, uh, I suppose. I don't even know how to play it, but, I'm, but oh, it's this one. Good blimey, no, I can't get on with this game at all. I really can't. I don't even think it's. Are we even. Just about to. Yeah. Oh. It's one of them games, guys. You go through this sort of like. what you class as normal, shoot them up sort of thing. Then it goes into like an impossible, crazy goddamn. This bit here is just it's just beyond the joke. I don't even know if it's because some of these games work really well and some don't. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. See, I don't know how to play games. Games. We want to talk about Galaxians and Space Invaders and all that, don't we? Yeah. It's all on here, guys. Everything. Every game you can think of. Pac-Man, I think, is even on here, isn't it? Yeah, you got if you. I suppose if you break it down into sections or categories, you got that starts with all the fighting games like uh, Street Fighter. You got all those ones, Double Dragon. Then you got a lot of classic card gay games like you know Scramble, Phoenix, Space Invaders. You got your football games. You got your quiz games. You got your adventure games. There is so much stuff on here. You keep talking, dude. Right, so I, uh... ah, what happened? This just there. I was on. And you can also uh, search for games as well. There's also a search function on this box, which is really handy. Yeah, just type the name of the game in. Uh, one, one of the things to bear in mind is, obviously these are all emulated games from the original. Some are, some are spot on. Yeah, and I think... Some are a little bit slow, but I sort of... I think this is one that's not 100%. I think I think the sound is a bit Mickey Mouse on this. Oh, no, no, it's all right. Yeah, it is a bit. It's certainly playable, there's, there's not a lot wrong with it. It's, uh... Oh, 
whilst we was in lockdown, this thing should have been out. But instead, we was making videos. This is this is heaps of fun. It is, isn't it? This is absolutely brilliant. Our price, I can't even remember how much they were. I'm now. sure you paid about 120. Sounds about right. Yeah, 120 pounds, which is an absolute bargain. Because by the because if you think about it, uh, the box inside, which we showed you in one of our previous videos, little Pandora's box, they're 30, 40 pounds. That's not even a pound a game, is it? No. If you look at it like that, it's not even a pound a game. That's unbelievable value, isn't it? And obviously with this one, you've got all your arcade controls, you've got your power supply, yeah. you can go straight into your telly. And if you add, if you added, added up that all that separately, it'd probably come to £100, so it's awesome value. You know, they're really nice controls. They feel good. You've got proper arcade yeah. buttons. Uh, they're really good. It's an awesome bit of kit, guys. One thing I will say, if you do order one, they pretty much come with a different marquee on them. I call it a marquee, but you, you print on here. They're all different. They that That isn't what I ordered when I ordered it, and it does say in the description, the, uh, let's call it marquee. The marquee will not necessarily reflect what you're buying online. I highly recommend it, and I wish to God I'd got somewhere where I could keep it out permanent so I could have a cheeky little go every now and then. Unfortunately, and it's a shame... It hasn't got Robotron. Now, it's got two controls, so Robotron would have been ideal for this because it has got the two, what's your name? So it would have worked, wouldn't it? Yeah, and depending on what version of Pandora's box you get, some of the later ones, you can actually use them as, use this control surface for like a control surface for your PlayStation or your Xbox. So, bubble, bubble, twice for your money. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And I think that works off the USB, but you've got to check which version of Pandora's box you've got depending if you want to use that feature. Let's have a quick look through the menu, shall we? Let's have a little look. So um, here we are in the menu, look. As Simon said to you, if you look up here at the top, you can see where I'm going across these three things at the top here. Now that's search, so you can literally just go in there and you can type, you can type the name of a game you're looking for in there, because there's 1,500 of them, so it will take a while. This saves the last I don't know how many games. I don't know, probably the last couple of hundred or as many. It was probably infinite, isn't it? Yeah, and so, you can say, oh, look, Choplifter. Yeah, Choplifter's a great game. Shout out, Choplifter. Yeah, um, there's, there's... So these are all the games that I and Simon have played on here since I've owned it. There you go, there's Pac-Man. They're all in there. Space Invaders, uh, Metal Slug 5, so it shows you there's at least five, but I'm sure there's six. Gallagher, there's this. Yeah, Lost Womb. Um, I mean, look, there's just, I mean, how could you not love this thing, guys? How could you not love this thing? So this isn't the uh, menu of games. This is the menu of games that we have played. Um, that's great. I got, I got really good at that, the drifting game. I love it. So look, look at it. Look. There's just loads and loads and loads, and these are just ones we've played. As I said, I'm repeating myself over and over again. Um, brilliant. Oh, you've got Streets of Rage on there, oh, wasn't it? Good grief, yeah. And everybody knows Streets of Rage, don't they, guys? Come on. Awesome game. You've got two crude dudes on here, but it's got a different name, isn't it? A different uh, type. Crude Buster, I think it's called. Yeah. So, so they're, they're out there. Just sometimes you've got to look for the thumbnails to see the game because the names might be different. Yeah, definitely. You, well, I know there's a lot of games, but just... If you've got a few hours, just go through the lot, because like Jay says, you'll find stuff under different names, and you'll think, oh, that's my favourite game, but they've called it something different. So. Soon we will take you into Simon's arcade and do a little bit of filming. I'll show you his arcade and have all the machines on together, and it'll be a epiphany of sound. Uh, uh, it'll be an ensemble of madness. Certainly will. Yeah, right, anyway, we could talk about this thing for hours. Um, there's plenty of videos going in detail on YouTube uh, about this particular thing. And if you want to just go on eBay and have a look at the prices, they've probably dropped by now, I'm not sure. But um, that is Pandora's Box Home. Yeah, and obviously when on the splash screen here, it's got the actual, it's got Pandora's Box 9 in it, mm. or version 9. Yeah. So that'll give you an idea which this one is. So there you go, YouTubers and a Groovers. Did you see that? I did the Simon Hand thing, YouTubers and a Groovers. That's right. Yes, yeah, sir. From me, Jason Bangers here at Take the Fear, it's goodbye. And from me, Mr. Chumbly Warner, it's goodbye. We'll see you on a very happy video next time. Toodaloo.